What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Stormstriker069 here with another Stormstriker069 Plays video. This one is a Stormstriker069 Plays RPG games, and this one will also be for Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening as well. Or it could be your weekday video, wherever you're watching it, you know, but mainly for Saturdays. Um, so yeah, the next game that I will be playing is Tales of Tales of Berseria. Basically, Berserk, you know, like the word Berserk, but instead of Berserk, it's Berseria. But yeah, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Tales of Berseria is one of the Tales games that was created alongside Zestiria and Vesperia, right? Yeah. Um, it comes in a uh, triple pack that you can get for the PlayStation 4 system. Um, there it is right there. You can only find this in EU, by the way, but you can also find Tales of Bazeria on Steam for PC, PlayStation 3, only in Japan, apparently. The, the PS3 version is only available in Japan, but I'm pretty sure you can find that game, the PS3 version of that game, on Amazon and eBay these days, or wherever you find your imported games, you know, from Japan or whatever. And you also have it for PS4 as well. Um, but yeah, I will be playing this game next. So hope you guys enjoy. This game is rated T for Teen and is also from Bandai Namco Games. This one's going to be a fun one as well. The artwork is in this is also made by the same one that did Tales of Zestiria and Vesperia as well so uh yeah i will still have another number of tales of games that i will be doing after this one so hope you guys enjoy i will be playing this game casually with game overs and deaths included now i may not talk a lot as well i will talk off and on but if i get into like focus mode or whatever you know that's how it goes so yeah tales of basiria all right hope you guys enjoy this game let's get into the gameplay and hope you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to click the like button comment below share with your friends out of here and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell to know when i upload new videos this will be a long play video as well you can play this game with keyboard and mouse or you can use a controller as well if you're playing this on pc or if you're playing this on the ps3 or playstation 4 system so yeah, this game is compatible on the PC with both Xbox and PlayStation contr controllers. If you're playing this on Steam on the PC, you could probably use your Steam controller as well, or even a Switch controller, because the Switch controller is compatible with Steam these days. So yeah, um, I mainly use my Xbox controller on Steam sometimes if I want to use a controller. But yeah, that's just me. I do have a PS4 controller as well that I could be using, but for this one, I'm going to be using keyboard and mouse. So yeah, let's get into the gameplay, shall we? See you guys at the title screen. Hope you guys enjoy. Again, this will be a long play video. Bandai Namco Entertainment. Autodesk Gameware Navigation. Checking on add-ons. You can play this game in either English or Japanese. Let's do English. Tales of Bazaria. This game came out in 2016 by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Let's get in there and... Uh, See what this game is all about. Let's do a new game. And you have a difficulty setting for this game as well. Simple, 
normal, moderate, or hard. I'm going to do simple. You're going to have the subtitles on, off or on. I'm going to leave the subtitles on. You can have the, the camera rotation speed on three, or you can have it on five, whatever you want it on. Obviously, inverted or normal cameras. Alrighty. Let's start the game, shall we? Yes. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. All right, there's going to be tutorials, but I'm not going to show them all. But if you want to see them, you can pause the video and look at it. Okay. Again, I'm using keyboard and mouse. Mini-map, area map, current objective and event list. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. I see. We're going hunting and prickle bores. Remember those? We hunted prickle boars in Tales of Zestria. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, oh, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Silica, huh? Is that the girl that ate the werewolf? <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather. And worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? 
know. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Wow, real stick in the I mud, aren't you? I probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Hey, Velvet. If you need hunting supplies, come to me. Not that there's any anywhere else to go, mind. Apple gel. Okay. Wait. All he has is apple gels. All right, we should be good. There's a safe spot over here. Yes. Save. Yes. I want The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right, then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Sweet 16, as uh, as you always say <laughs> when you turn 16. <laughs> Okay. Way to the prickle boars. Yes, it is. All right, let's go hunt some prickle boars. This area looks promising. But martial arts. Of course, it's a tutorial. Usually the first hour of the game we'll have a tutorial, so Is that all? We got Pricklebore meat. Yeah, that's how it's done. How many do we have to collect though? Okay. That's some got a copper core. Coin, copper coin, sorry. Soul gauge. No. 
You're gonna hit me or not? There you go. Right, kick off! Arthur's second next. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Kick butt martial arts. Got a treasure chest here. We found some apple gel. There's a safe spot here. Another chest down here. Oh, well, we did anyway. Marking a chest that I already opened. Yeah, that was a pretty long intro, wasn't it? You have the, uh, the intro sequence in the beginning of the title screen, and then you have the, the three scenes as well. The scene when the girl ate the werewolf, that was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Before. Well, I may have, but uh, still, it's crazy to witness with your own eyes. Got another copper coin. Alrighty. Rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. So much backtracking, but... Guess we didn't finish getting the prickle bores. All right, we're going back out there. We 
We haven't went this way yet. Let's go this way. I guess I missed some sparkles. The sparkles are items to pick up, by the way. These little sparkles right here. Oh! Yep, I missed one. There's one out here. You've got a blade. That's a wrist blade. Wow. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Yeah, let's not do that yet. Because we might fall in and have to get out. I'm not ready to fall in there yet. Ooh, more prickle boards. Yep, that's what they're called. Prickle boars. Is that all? And we leveled up. More prickle boars. Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? <laughs> Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Uh oh. Hidden arts. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Uh oh. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. Uh oh. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of. Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but... I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. 
Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Okay. Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting bricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring! I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Oh my gosh. I like the uh, conversations in the game. I wonder if this game also breaks the fourth wall. Usually games will do that. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. I got something back here. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look. Your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. 
See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? You go not spicy hot but oh so delicious oh yeah i saw nico today and she had very important things to talk about she's coming over in the next couple days so be on your best behavior i will i'm glad you've got a good friend yeah we've known each other since forever still nico falling in love i can barely wrap my head around it laffy you know if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, 
But I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Luffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Scarlet Knight. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? Uh-oh. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Up to this point. Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Oh, here we go. Here we, here we go. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Conversation later. We gotta go. Hey. Hey.
Back over here. No, not that way. That's not the cape. I mean, I did say this was going to be a long play video, so yeah. But like I said before, if you do enjoy the game, I will record more of it at a later time. Or stream more of it. And we're fighting some trickle boys. Is that all? Fluffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Lofi said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh. Good. It's off to the cape, then. Hooray! Right, here goes! Is that all? Is that all? What a prickle for action! Not bad. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, 
I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Oh. A demon! Uh-oh. Lobby set, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please, go! Arthur said, but I have to do this! Stop! Face me, demon! Poppy! Velvet. Oh boy. How... How did I get home? Velvet! Fluffy, you're all right. Uh, sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! Time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Oh no.
up. Never give up. Oh. Oh. You'd have that reaction too if you're being chased. Trying to. You're not able to fight them. Not in the current state. We can't exactly fight them yet. Remember, we tried and got our butts whipped. Floppy! Arthur! Velvet! You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Floppy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lapiset's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion. My goodness. <laughs> A 
demon that feeds on demons. Arthur. Atherian. Oh my god, she is mad and angry. Take a look around. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. Do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Who is that? Uh, Ceres. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching.
Here I come! If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Burning wing! Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl! What is it doing here? Well... It's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless.
All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Got you! You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island? Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Hope you guys are still watching up at this point. This is getting really good. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Moloch family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <clears throat> Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. are you? I'll 
will cut down anyone in my way! door to every cell we're getting off this island what the hell you serious split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates break through the gates and you'll have a ship but aren't they guarded by exorcists I mean that pirate von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here and he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot! I'm with you! Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it! I'm going home to my family! Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! like us are always I'm up for a I'm sick of the slop they feed us! Ceres. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. Oh my. You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing? Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey join forces with the kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. That voice sounded familiar. Was that the voice of Goku? The voice actor that voiced Goku. It's, it sounded awful, sounded awfully, awfully a lot like him. Dear me, not a word of apology. And you are? Hooray! You asked! I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the Eleven Seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious, Magikigigafiludindo Dindo Larundu! Magilu for short. Magilu? No, Ma, like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Doo, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew! I suppose you'll never understand. 
People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Yep, this is definitely a long play video. I'm really enjoying it too, up to this point. We're just getting started, too. And this game is rated T for Teen? It's not rated in for Mature. Wow. I guess we follow the green markers. There we go. <laughs> More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready. You're not human. Neither are you. <laughs> True enough. Hold up! Deception! Burning He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Huh. Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Stormhowl. Stormhowl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Is that... I, I got a good feeling he might join my party later on in the game. That is if we continue it. Which I might. It's getting really good. Sounds like it worked. Let's find that tower. Yeah. 
the tower should be just ahead. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. <laughs> 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 Come on, really? The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Finished here. Let's go. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. 
Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. <laughs> Lord Arturius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? <laughs> Skilled. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. are fatal. Please, consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafie's! That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... ...are one... ...and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I... <laughs> and Arthur were... <laughs> together.
What is happening? Move! If you don't... I'll eat you! to wield as her own? I've never Fight seen Fight. such a demon! Got you! That dragon's butt. Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Rokurodan gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. I knew they would join us. I think. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorius. Yeah, this is definitely a long play video. Hope you guys enjoyed up to this point.
If you're still watching, that is. Is it starting to get good? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry. Long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise there much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. It took us that long to unlock the world map? Wow. There it is. All right. Now we're finally ending it here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed up to this point. I am Stormstrike069. We just got through doing Stormstrike069 plays. We just got through playing a very long session of Tales of... Missouria. Um, yeah, I really like this game. I may record more of this. We'll see. Um, or I could stream it on Twitch. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the first look at the game on my channel. If you guys enjoyed up to this point, if you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends out of here, and click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed.